Good evening and welcome into Hawk Talk. Jack Heffer alongside Gabe Sustick here at Eldridge Park. And Gabe, Hyannis, they drop another tough one to Orleans, this time a 7-1 loss here in at Eldridge Park. And Gabe, really, Orleans flourishing behind great pitching. The starter and Joe Ryan going five strong, striking out six, and it only allowed two hits. Hyannis only had four hits on the evening, but the offense was just stifled by great pitching from the Firebirds. Yeah, I think you really credit credit with what Joe Ryan did. I mean, Hyannis faced stellar pitching yesterday against Hunter Williams, and they were really shut out for the most part. They scored their only run on a sacrifice hit to win that game, and then you come in today when you can't score runs once again, and then Orleans gets ahead over John Gavin, it's going to be a real tough go for them. John Gavin struggling in his third start up here on the Cape League as he was dealt the loss this evening, gave up five earned runs on eight hits. And for Gavin, it really was just a struggle of getting ahead in the count and getting that off that off-speed pitch to hit the outer part of the zone. Yeah, I mean, for Gavin, look, you saw that spectacular start that he had before, and he just hasn't been able to really recreate it as much. Guys have gotten to, Ahead of him, he's lost counts a lot of the times, and he's throwing pitches where he doesn't want them to be. And tonight was kind of the same thing against Orleans. They just found ways to get hits against him. But Gabe, tonight the story, obviously the offense only putting together four hits on one run. And we talked to a little bit to manager Chad Gassman about this offensive stinge that Hyannis has hit in the past three games as they've only scored three runs in their past three games. So Nicole Hansel, we'll throw it over to you with Coach Gassman. We have a little bit of a different interview today for Hawk Talk. Instead, talking to Coach uh, Chad Gassman today on Hawk Talk. Now, Cody Henry did had a good game today. He did well against Wareham as well. has been doing pretty well lately. What have you been seeing from him that you've been liking up at the plate? He's putting together really good at bats. And... Uh, you had a big, uh, it wasn't a hit, but he drove in a run last night for us in that one nothing win. And he's just, he's really finding a swing and putting together good at bats. Justin Lewis had a really solid outing today, retired eight in a row. What did you, what did the improvements you've been seeing from him as he's been kind of getting back on track with his pitching? Well, it was really good for us. It was good for uh, Justin, it was good for us. I really like what I saw tonight. and. Um, Hopefully that will continue. I, I just saw uh, he looked really confident and he had great stuff and he was attacking hitters and he was aggressive and that's really good if he keeps pitching like that. And I'm sure he will. And Coley Bowers making his second appearance today. What do you hope to see from him in the future moving forward? You know, uh, that's the second, you're right, that's the second time we watched him and we like what we saw there too. You know, he had a real good breaking ball and um, that's good. You know, we, we lose a few arms in the next four or five days, so it'll be good to get these guys in and get them more innings and, you know, uh, really help our pitching staff. Lastly, Orleans pitching lights out tonight. Really hard for some of the players to get through the pitchers. What, was, what did you see from them that it made it really difficult for them to get to, the, to get to them at the plate? I saw some guys that were just really good. Uh, they threw hard. They threw strikes. They had good breaking balls. They had good change-ups. They were, um, they just drew well. I mean, that was a that was a real good pitching staff we faced tonight. And we had a couple opportunities early, and um, we kind of missed out on those. But tip your hat to Orleans. That, that was just, they were really good tonight. All right, great. Thanks so much, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks, Coach Gashman, and thanks, Nicole. Gabe, really the only bright spot in the lineup tonight. Cody Henry with two doubles tonight. Continuing on a hot streak, the first baseman, really nice work on the extra base hits. What did you think of Cody Henry? I mean, I think you like him. I think you like what he's been able to do from the left side, especially early on where he seemed to struggle from that side. Now he seemed to be doing better on that side than the right side at times, which can help because when you face a lot of more right-handed pitchers up here. So I think you credit with what Cody Henry has done. He's probably tried a little bit more, like figuring out how to deal from the left-handed side a little bit more. I think you like what he's doing because a switch hitter really can help you on this team if he can hit well from both sides of the plate. Lots of Harbor Hawks getting a few innings off tonight. Rutherford and Proc Rutherford was subbed out, not Proctor. And Rogers as well as in two outfielders. Peter Zyla got some time in there. Cameron Estate came in a left field, had a nice double down that right field line. So we should see a refreshed Hyannis lineup tomorrow against Katuit, a Sunday night game. And they will send Andrew Gonzalez to the mound, who got hit around a little bit versus YD, but looks to rebound against Katuit after a 5-1 to one loss at Lowell Park. Yeah, and I think... Manager Roberts is not going to be able to do the same thing he did last time, which is continue to just throw different guys in it. 
against Tyannis. I think he really only did that to get that one win. And now they'll try to go for the Barnesville Patriot Cup. Gonzalez back in. I've liked what he has. He's always looked pretty good in his innings. He just has those one little moments in those innings where he just can't get over the hump. He eventually does, and then he keeps moving on throughout the game. But if he can avoid that, he could become stellar for Hyannis. We'll see if the Harbor Hawks can get back in the win column tomorrow night against Katuit. 6 o'clock game at McKeon Park. Be sure to tune in to Gabe and I on the broadcast. But for Hawk Talk tonight, Jack Heffer and Gabe Sustek, thanking you for joining in.